Thank you for watching Not My Bag. If you're watching this, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening, give a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Obviously, there's a new series of Love Island coming up. What, what do you think about it and stuff? Are you a fan of Love Island? Do I you... watch it because yeah. um, I'm part of young men's bodies. And, you know, I mean, come on, I'm a human. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the other man sitting there scratching his belly, do you? I don't want to watch something now. I love my husband. Um, <laughs> no, I, I watch Love Island. I certainly do. Um, oh, I love I, that. I do. No, I, of course I watch it. My yeah. husband watches it while his eyeballs are hanging out in stores. Oh, I bet they are. <laughs> He's 77 in the last night last night. And God love him. Um, I think... We could do nice boys, don't we? But I think the six I saw last night, nice boys, mm. but some of them could have been better looking. Nice so, Joe, do you want to get up your phone? And uh, no, I'm not him. being funny. What I wanted to do. Some of them, uh, the nice boys, but I think if you are auditioning hundreds and hundreds of boys and girls, my love, we better see something really good. And I don't know why we did. Because I nice enough boys, don't, but to say core... Well, I'm 80 and I wouldn't go with one of them. And I'm 80, I'd turn them down. <laughs> uh, if an 80-year-old doesn't fancy them, there's no hope for anybody, well, is there? Kim, that brings me on. Um, no, I'm being truthful. We, no, 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 I love it. And that's what brings we us on to this segment. We want to see cool, don't we? We want to <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking for at a man, then? If, if, if you well, were... If, got a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were standing there... And there could be someone to walk in. Would you want chiselled? Would you want... No, I mean, I, hair, I don't expect hair. to find a man um, when I married my husband, a big muscular beast. I'm like, you marry, you love somebody. Yeah. But if you're doing a show, Love Island, when you are saying these people are flaming gorgeous, the girls, the boys, it's Love Island. We're picking the best. Well, I fell down last night. <laughs> Would you, if, if George night. came out on Love Island, do you think you'd, would you choose him? Well, you're very handsome, aren't you? Thank you. You're a very handsome man. And I think you're quite, I think you've got quite a big chest, haven't you? I, I work out, yeah. Yeah, you know, I can see, but uh, I can see that. And I think that you're, you're a good looking man, you see. So I think, guess you'd be good on Love Island. Get your old tan on. So the body's there, isn't it? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I do need to, maybe a bit of fake tan. I'm getting a bit pale because it's weather. But yeah, I'll be all right. Oh, there's a lot of sexual tension here. I think we'll move on. <laughs> what, we wanted to, uh, what we wanted to do, I wanted to, um, I know you've obviously watched it already, but I wanted to play you each of the uh, the gentlemen on Love Island this year, their, their intro. What's it called? The intro yeah. to them. And then yeah, you let me know what you'd rate them out of 10. Any first opinions from them? So we're going to start with Harris. He's the one that sells the tellies, so I'll turn this up. Oh, bless him. Um, and we'll start this off. Well, oh, my lovely, once again, a nice looking young man. I'm not suggesting for one moment in a body, but um, shall I just say facially, mm. he's quite a plain young man. He's very um, boyish, boy I think. He looks like he's still at school. Have you heard the... So he last night went into the villa um, and said oh, he... Has never been in a relationship. He'd love to. No, be he able said to he's never taken them home. But he's got a girlfriend. This one. No, wait a minute. He's not the one who said he's never taken them home, is he? Yeah, yeah. He, is yeah, he is. And he, he's, yeah, he he's, looks different oh, in this book. Yeah. But let me tell you something. Once again, well, he's 21. Well, some boys do grow up slowly sexually, don't they? Yeah. You know they do. You're yeah, only yeah. 21, love. Well, but, I mean, not But to... if you look at his face, my lovely, the body seems a nice chap, but you could not turn around and say, that is a, a, um, a very good-looking man facially. He's pleasant, but he's not. He's not cool, is he's he? He's very boyish, isn't he? Well, speaking of which, <laughs> the next the next love under I wanted you to write. Because I think I'll write. Well, to keep your legs up, not going to happen, is it? No, go on. We've got we've got Will, the farm, the farmer. Well, I'm going to tell you something about Will. Bless him. Yeah. What a hard-working young man. He seems lovely. Lovely didn't body, he? good-looking face. Um, he seems very fun, doesn't he? He seems as if he's up, but the trouble he wants girl in well, he's doing the pigs. I know. Now, some girls want no, for there's nothing wrong with farming. Oh no. But to say, oh, I like her in a pair of wellies. Oh, you know. A lot of girls but, nowadays aren't like that at all. No, but but he is a hard-working boy. He seems it. And yeah. I think he's respectable. Mm. And if you look at his face, he looks better looking when you <laughs> But he goes on about the animals a lot, doesn't he? He said when he gets out of bed in the morning. 
and he, he, he and he walks across it and he sees the pigs looking at him. He get he thinks, oh, lovely. Mm. Now I'm not trying to be funny, but if you're his wife, I pull you off a bit. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm, I, no, no. But I look at the back of the car. I love my thoughts. You turn to you. You know, you know what I mean. I think he's a farmer's lad to the degree of annoyance. Yeah. But okay, so you think he might uh, have been sick and do you know what I mean? But he can't see his, the only joy he gets is going and seeing the pigs first thing in the morning because he said his wife's lying there. Exactly. So what's he doing Unless to her? going to go shag the sheep. Do you know what I mean? Well, he might do too. No. But I think he's a thoroughly nice young man, <laughs> but I think he's a farming lad. Yeah, And yeah. I think he's forgotten how to be romantic, dear. Fine. He feels romantic when he sticks his hand up a cow's ass, dear. Yeah. So that's not the right way to go <gasps> about it, dear. I think he's forgotten romance, dear. This Fine. is not Anne, this is females. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a nice lad, but... No, Fine, know. so we got Shaq next. He's the airport guy, isn't he? Ooh, why aren't you playing? They've got some security. Well, I'm not keen on the hairstyle. Do you know what I did think? I did think he had about three different hairstyles in one, He's didn't he? He had a front. shape up box, then he had a uh, braided, and then it puffed up at the back. I thought, do you know what? Like, there was a lot going on, wasn't there? Be like, being a bit greedy with a haircut like that, isn't you? Uh, to me, he's typical of. Many men uh, looks after himself, spotlessly clean, a thousand different hairstyles a week. Why is a bit childish to me? Women, yes, men, no. Yeah, I can understand he might want to, but you can tell he's got plaits one day, this the next, that the next. Um, I think he's a bit full of himself, actually. The appearance Fine. goes overboard, right? And he's more or less saying, How do I look? You know. <laughs> What's this one called? No, I don't, this... I, I, be handsome, but don't be silly. What be do you think of Kai? Because all the girls loved Kai. So what do you think of him? Because he had about three girls after him, didn't he, at once? Well, see, I didn't understand that. They loved him, didn't they? Well, he got two, then she walked yeah. off, and he got the third. Now, I'm not understanding why, dear. And he's got nice they... teeth, I think. He's got lovely... Well, you can't go out with a set of teeth, can you? Lovely set, I know, true. I think he's a fairly... I think because he's tall, they thought big. I think he's tall, nice figure, mm. uh, hair nice and neat, but he's all teeth. I don't think he's particularly good looking. So I think clean. he's pleasant looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he's not cool. And you can't get up with a set of gnashes, can you? Cool. Kai, you're not cool. <laughs> no, no, he's not. You know, just an no. ordinary plainish man, well kept. See, well, this is what I'm saying at 80. And if I don't fancy him, there's no We've got... <laughs> next up is Ron, who I... I mean, Percy, the name Ron, I oh, think. Oh, bless him. What's this? Look at him. Oh, do you know... I have sympathy. I quite like Ron. Ron's... No, Ron's I'm going to tell you why. I'm blind to one eye and so is he. Mm. Now, I'm blind to the same eye as he is. Right. Now, he's got a... Well, I haven't got... Plus, he's got a blue and a brown eye. Would you? But I think he's a nice young man. No, he don't... Yeah. I, I think he'll go think, far. I think Ron will go far. I think he's masculine... He's pleasant looking. I think he's a bit he's, old he's, school. He's good looking in a masculine got way. nice hair as well, isn't he? Like that I like kind of that nice cut. hair. I think he's overcome. He's, he's it's a blind in one eye, which is quite an obstacle, I know, but I'm the same. But I just think he's... Yeah. I think he's trying to be in with the boys, but I think he's nice. Yeah, I think so he's, he's a nice. nice. He's a good egg. Oh, I wrong. think he's nice. Oh, we've also got the new guy that came in at the end called Tom, and he's a footballer, Six isn't he? Foot so five. he came in at the end. From Barnsley. Six foot, six foot five. Six foot five. Six foot five. That man does not when look six see, foot five. He's six foot five. When you see, I'll tell you what puts me off. Right. If he has any more Botox in his face. Very boxy. I thought that he had a, a lot his going on. His whole face yeah. is pumped up to get rid of the... Well, he won't have, But his whole face, like, he's like a big balloon. Can I just say this balloon is off. <laughs> And Kim, I wonder if you noticed this. Either that or he's ill. I must say, a lot of the guys on this series, I don't know if anyone back me up here, the eyebrows. Oh, I can't deal with it. The, uh, see, look, I, I put a bit of gel in mine. I, I put them, yes. you know what I mean? But at least mine are a bit thick. They are yes. so thin and threaded. Yes. These don't guys like have got like... Man. Don't like it on And I, you can tell they try and look rugged and then they've got these like... Mm. I mean, I love Katie Price, but Katie Price style, you know, Jordan eyebrows back in the day, and I can't believe it. It's yeah. crazy. But I think that young man who's blind about it's a very nice chap, that chap. Ron, you know what? Given that, you know, the name's a bit, I mean, close to home for us, but the name is, uh, the name's a bit old school, but we do like Ron. We do like Ron. Yeah, there's something, there's something, maybe he's, he's wholesome, isn't he? Yeah. And I feel like yeah, he's a bit old school. He's from Essex and stuff. I feel like he'll have that kind of background we've had. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And he just I seems, agree. he just seems a down to earth. He looks, he's got a man's face, a man's eyebrows, a man's hair. Or do yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> do you?